You ain't pretty. You ain't that bright. You ain't that funny or charming. There's nothing in you worth loving. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hemvar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Maurice Broaddus's I Can Transform You. I Can Transform You is a 2013 novella or very short novel somewhere along those lines. Uh, it is about Mac Peterson, and Mac Peterson is thrown through a window in the very first sentence. The culprit is Jesse Duppy Honeycutt, high on Adam and otherwise well-muscled. But Mac has a job to do, so we can't let that stand in his way. He wants to avoid doing um, this with guns, though, as paperwork is involved with shooting someone that he doesn't want to fill out. Uh, it reads very energetically, energetically and a tad cocky, uh, something I'd expect more in a first-person point of view, which this is not. Um, it is cyberpunk, the type of sci-fi where poverty and cursing is found in great amounts. Mac is a private investigator and is called to and fro to barely make ends meet. He once worked uh, for LG security forces and so has some ex-cop noir feel about him. He is called up when a victim of maybe um, a maybe crime right, is a friend, an ex-lover. Uh, people have been falling from uh, a tower or towers, and they're not sure uh, really why the scene and the victims are, they're either suicides or they're murders, right? Uh, funny, what, funnily, when this is revealed at the start of the novel, there is a spiel from an active investigator who spoils plot for every other book of this type. You're, gonna, you're going to go drown your sorrows and not confront the problem. You're going to mess with the investigation behind my back to get your revenge. So I, I like that it was like very straightforward about that. Uh, the world is full of cities and small corporation nations as society as we recognize it is broken down. The story takes place somewhere about where Indiana once was, I think, uh, sometime in the relatively recent past with some volcanic eruptions that caused more breaking down and also revealed alien structures, these towers. How they got there is kind of important to the story. It comes up, it's kind of an odd mix on, uh, on cyberpunk to be honest uh it does get into property as a right and food as well also looks at distrust of government and roots uh this in relation you know to like my favorite types of food which uh, are generally labeled as from the south of u.s um uh, but i'm not from there but i grew up on them anyways i guess uh, definitely um some um look at looking at haves and have nots law and its limitations versus more limited government um along the lines of anarchy or a commune uh, we explore familiar relationships and how people uh, screw them up and how people just getting by uh, what they tell themselves or the addictions that they have right so very normal people in the sense of a very um, postmodern society uh, it further postmodern post postmodern maybe that's the idea of cyberpunk right um mac himself only has a data chip in his head he didn't go for any more unnecessary tech in or on his body um but otherwise like i said he kind of fits that noir feel um it's an interesting story with many themes and with an interesting twist uh, and kind of on who the spooks are uh, overall it and it's nice that the spook is not our main character because sometimes so some so-called cyberpunk you really they, they really work for the man and mac i would say doesn't really he kind of does because he does work for the cops you know but in some ways he doesn't that's superseded um, by some weird stuff Overall, it's a fun murder mystery with a noir feel. It moves along swiftly, but doesn't have too much action. It's satisfying enough, I feel like, as much as it could be. Um, but the ending is oddly unsatisfying. It, it's it's a weird ending. It just kind of ends, and that, that almost certainly on purpose. I'm not sure what Broadus was thinking when he did it that way. Um, and and the, the couple things that make me think, but I have, like, no conclusions for them, right? Uh, uh, there's a what is the transformation? <laughs> I'm not sure what the I Can tra can Transform You title is even about after having read it. Um, I don't understand, really. Uh, and then we have this, the name, Mac Peterson. I, I could just be a name that you'd feel like you'd read in like a noir story from the 60s or something. Maybe that's what it is, right? And there's nothing more to it. But Mac means sun. Peterson means son of the rock. These towers are, are rocks. Maybe it's something like that. Is he a result of these changes that are going on? Uh, he's son, son of the rock. Anyways, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, uh, but sometimes the law can get in the way of justice.